Love and Light Collective, thank you for taking the time out to click on Kiara's Love Tarot. I truly appreciate each and every last one of you beautiful viewers for tuning into my channel and hearing what it is that I have to say on this lovely, gorgeous day, evening, night, morning, whatever time you're watching it. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you see it, whenever the video just pops up to you, when it is suggested, if it just starts playing, that's when it's meant for you to hear it. Please keep in mind, though. This is a general reading. Only take what resonates with you and your situation. Leave the rest, okay? Do not apply things to your life that do not belong. Only take what feels right inside, what you know is happening, what you know you're going through, okay? Please make sure you like this video, comment, and subscribe, okay? If you're new here, please subscribe so that you can become a Kiera Love Tarot family member. And also, you don't miss future videos that I post. And like I said, don't be afraid to comment below. I do interact with my viewers. I do try my hardest to respond to everybody. So don't be afraid to comment below, okay? Ooh, I got a sneeze. <laughs> ooh. Excuse me. Ooh, 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 Somebody may have a cold, okay? Or somebody's allergies might be messing with them. Or somebody's having a lot of nosebleeds. Or somebody lives in a dry area or somebody's house is really dry or somebody has a fussy baby because this particular baby ain't able to tell you um what's bothering them they can't talk right now they can't you know communicate like a regular adult or a child could and what they're fussy about is because the wherever you're living or whatever house you live in um, your air is really dry, okay? You need some fresh air in your home, in your household. I could be talking to a water sign, or um, this could be somebody not getting enough water, or they're not feeding their infant another wa enough water. Like, this could be a six, seven-month-old, eight-month-old baby that needs water at this point, and they're dehydrated, which is making their nostrils dry, or you're dehydrated, which is making your nostrils dry. Could be talking to somebody that's 29, or somebody who has a birthday in July. All right. So let's go ahead and tap in. I had kind of pre-shuffled the cards just so I wouldn't take up so much time um, shuffling in the video. And I got discover yourself. I mean, discover your life purpose or discover yourself. Okay. So it's time for a lot of you guys watching this video to discover who you are. Okay. Life after the pain. Life after um, a tower moment, life after losing, life after just shit not going right, okay? What are we going to do now? Where are we picking up from? Where are we picking up where we left off? Is the vibes that I'm getting and receiving, okay? This could be somebody trying to figure themselves out right now, figure their life out, figure out what they're going to do next. Um, or somebody could be jumping from thing to thing. Like, you could have a lot of tasks all over the place that are like, you've kind of started, but you ain't finished them because you just don't know what you want to do. Or you don't know what is best for you. Or you just have had a situation knock you completely on your ass to where you just don't know where to start. Okay? You just don't know what's for you anymore. So, Spirit is telling me to tell you it's time to really sit and figure out what is for you. Time is ticking. Time waits on no man. Okay? Time waits on nobody. We got Amber, Kim, Erica, Ashley, Bree, Leah, or Bria. Who I could be talking to. I just randomly pulled one of my um, homemade index cards. Okay, so if your name is Amber, Kim, Erica, Ashley, Bree, Leah, or Bria, um, that message could be specifically for you. Or if you know anybody with that name, that message could be for you. The next message we got is contemplation. Okay, so this is going back to discovering who you are. You're doing a lot of contemplating, a lot of sitting on your ass right now. The, this mermaid, she's sitting on her ass, and this woman right here is sitting on her ass. Also, spirit is telling me to let somebody know that your life, pur your life purpose does not resolve around a man. Okay, and I almost said your life partner. So whoever your life partner is go is gonna be, you're not gonna get them sitting on your ass, um, dwelling. Okay, your life partner is gonna come in your life when you discover who you are. So the longer you sit around and mope is the longer it's going to take for you to find this true person. God has made up his mind on your particular situation, whoever this video is resonating with, that they're not sending you any more love seekers for the current moment. That's done. That's over with. That's out the window. Okay. We're not, um, they don't want you dating at the moment. They're protecting you from a lot of low vibrational energies. We're at 
and going through a spiritual warfare okay there are a lot of possessed energies a lot of people that have demons on their back a lot of people who are disguised as normal human beings but really their goal is to tear down light workers okay so there's a lot of people walking around acting like they're looking for love when they're really looking to destroy that's their main goal who can i conquer who can i take everything from right now it's really not safe for anybody to be dating that's why spirit is just wanting a lot of his um light workers and star seeds to discover their life purpose right now take a break from sex take a break from being in love give your heart a rest give your mind a rest okay but somebody really is doing a lot of sitting on their ass and a lot of time is passing you've had enough time to figure shit out or you've had enough time to mourn you've had enough time to soak and i could definitely be talking to a pisces okay or some sort of water sign somebody could have a pet turtle or somebody could have a nickname turtle or someone likes turtle ice cream okay <clears throat> but um let's clarify this contemplation i'm just randomly pulling cards from my card deck let's see what does this say what it feels like before it happens okay so somebody could be spending a lot of time um, in La La Land or someone has a wild imagination or someone is imagining things, but not getting up to do anything. So that's kind of so you kind of got it right, viewer. You're manifesting correctly. You're thinking about it and putting yourself in the situation in your mind and you're feeling what it would feel like. But you also have to get up and do something about it to get that to come quicker. OK, you can't just sit and be like, oh. This is what it would feel like to be rich or this is what it would feel like to be at peace. You have to go find your peace as well. It's good to see it, believe it, think it, feel it. But you have to get up to and go get that peace. You got to get up and go get that healing. Get up and go get that career. Get up and get that car. You got to do something to bring that situation to you. It ain't just going to just fall in your lap. Sometimes God makes things easy for us. But in your situation, it's time to work. Okay. Um. You, you you used to have a lot of ambition. You used to have a lot of drive. You used to be really conceited, really confident. And now something has just switched, okay? For some of you guys, it's a male energy that has um, just completely thrown you off your square. And as long as I've been doing tarot, that's just all it seems like in the energy for a lot of people around the world. They're letting relationships stop them from their full potential and you cannot do that even if this person did be with you or work out with you it still will be a, a unhappy situation because you're not together your fulfillments and dreams have not been met all the way therefore you how could you enjoy a relationship knowing that your credit score is fucked up knowing that you got a hell of debt that you gotta pay knowing that you ain't built no foundation knowing that your kids need things knowing that you still got to get your body together knowing that you need to get an education or knowing that you need to go back and get that diploma or no you know there's a lot of things that a lot of viewers watching this video have to accomplish and their focus has been accomplishing keeping a relationship and that's why everything is falling apart around because the focus is on the wrong thing okay Either way, though, we got a personal issue reaches a resolution. So Spirit is like, this person ain't your problem anymore, okay? Next, moving forward, this person is not your issue. The resolution is this person's not here anymore. It ain't working out. Y'all not together. Y'all on a break. Y'all together, but it's toxic. Y'all together, but y'all finna end. Or... You're not this person's friend anymore. They want to be back friends with you. Or this family member knew they was wrong. So now they're coming back to let you know that. Or you know you can't, they, they didn't show you they can't fuck with you. I mean, they didn't show you you can't fuck with them. And you know this now, moving along. Okay, Spirit is like, listen, the re resolution has been here. Anything after that is a personal issue on anybody else's behalf, okay? If you choose to keep on letting other people's personal issues <clears throat> affect you, you going to look up, they're going to have everything in the world, and you ain't going to have a damn thing. Somebody needs to really hear that message. You can't keep on worrying about things that ain't worrying about you. 
This could be a cancer I'm talking to. Let me pull a card to clarify what I'm saying. <clears throat> know that you can and that you will and that you shall. So someone needs to start saying mantras, affirmations, um, speaking positivity into their life. Okay, we got the surrender card. I can I can release my need to control. So somebody may not want to hear this, but you could be a bit of a control freak. Spirit is saying everything literally does not have to go your way. If you if we really sitting up here and we really looking at ourselves and we really not blaming others for our BS, for some, your possessive and controlling ways will lose you a lot of good opportunities viewer and i ain't trying to offend nobody but this is what's coming through <clears throat> you have to surrender to the things you cannot control and you don't even have to be a control freak whatever you can't control you can't worry about it and that's just that on that okay Sometimes you just got to give it to God. Sometimes you just got to put it in his hands and let him take over. Let her take over. Okay, Because I feel like God is he and she. But surrender that pain. Surrender that worry. Surrender that anxiety. Surrender that overthinking energy. Surrender that depression. Surrender that postpartum depression. Surrender that mental illness. Surrender whatever it is that is heavy on your back at the moment release it viewer you don't need it anymore it's too heavy okay and it's holding you back bag lady okay you're gonna hurt your back dragging all them bags of jealousy hate heartache heartbroken embarrassment um manipulation and um feeling humiliated feeling devastated feeling unappreciated feeling ran over feeling used feeling abused all that is bags of the past and you're carrying it with you you can't we also got the retreat card right here it's time to disconnect from the world viewer okay so you're gonna have to stop talking to a few people you're gonna have to turn that phone on do not disturb you're gonna have to not answer your door you're gonna have to miss out on some kicking it events you're gonna have to just take a break to just worry about you and if you got kids, you and your kids, that's it. You're going to have to ignore them calls. You're going to have to tell people, don't tell me that. I don't want to hear it. You're going to have to say, hey, I'm not really in the mood to gossip with nobody. Hey, I'm not in the mood. That's your motto for the next few weeks. I'm not in the mood. Okay? You have to take a break. Some of you guys, if you're in a relationship, if you're married, it may be time to retreat with your person. To see if something can be saved. See if something can be fixed or to communicate what you're going through inside. Okay, that's if you're in a relationship with somebody and you're going through this. You may need to retreat with just you and that person to break down why you've been depressed. To break down, because this could be somebody who don't like letting nobody know that they're hurting. You feel like it looks weak or you've been raised to think showing your pain makes you a weak person. And that's not true. Pain makes you stronger. Pain helps you last longer. And what I mean by that is when you've been through shit, you know how to get through shit. Okay? But for some of you guys, it's time to retreat from a relationship. Again, under this card right here is retreat. Right here is discover your life purpose. And there's a person next to somebody. Someone has a problem with thinking they need people in their life. Someone's afraid to be alone. You don't need nobody. Or maybe it's time to put yourself up to the test of being alone. So that you can master being alone. You may be the type of person that have been around people your whole entire life. And it's coming up. You're getting ready to come up on a test or a lesson where you're going to have to master being happy by yourself for a while. Or for the next 29 days, someone needs to just take the time out to be alone and be by themselves. We got clearing, okay? As true offerings arise, it becomes easy to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from mind, mind, mind to God's, God's, God's. Such freedom, okay? So what this card is basically saying, it's time to clear shit out your life. It's time to clear shit out your path. It's time to get rid of shit. Get rid of clothes you don't wear. Get rid of toys your kids don't play with. 
Get rid of shoes you don't wear. Give it to somebody who needs it. Get rid of old cards and receipts that's in your wallet unless you plan to use them for your taxes. Get rid of hair supplies you don't use. Get rid of that person's items in your home that you're done with. Get rid of furniture that is making you look, I mean, not look, making you feel depressed or looks depressing. Get rid of shit. Clear shit out of your space. Make your area homey again. Make make your area feel clear enough that you feel safe and protected in that environment. Clear things out of your mind. Tell yourself, this is not my experience. I'm not going through this anymore. I'm not, this is not happening to me anymore. I'm not at that place anymore. Sometimes you got to talk to yourself to get yourself together, get yourself in check. Sometimes you got to tell yourself, I'm okay. Sometimes you got to be your own best friend. And some of you guys have talked yourself to death with other people. It's time to stop telling people your business too. It's time to stop showing people your weak spots. Okay? Because people are beginning to look at you like maybe something's wrong with you. You're not crazy and I ain't calling you crazy. But people, are ta they don't understand what you're going through within. So they're looking at it like this girl's losing her mind or this man is losing his mind. Okay? You got to start talking to yourself. You got to start listening to yourself. Okay? As soon as you start clearing these things out, you will see blessings walk into your life. And you also have to learn to be positive even when you don't even see positive around you, viewer. Spirit is telling me. You have to speak life into your life. You have to save your own life. You can't wait for a man to do it. You can't wait for God to do it. You can't wait for the angels to do it. They're going to help you. They ain't going to let you die. Or they ain't going to let you fall to nothing. But they want to see, can, your, can you activate your own inner God? With this crown chakra card popping up right here. Your crown chakra is your top of your head. So somebody's crown chakra could be really infected right now. The, the, the crown chakra is the mind. It's connected to the pineal gland, the third eye, and everything that operates your body. If your mind is sick, what do you think your body is? If your mind is hurt, what do you think your body is? Okay? Somebody has to work on their crown chakra more than anything. Somebody could be having negative energies and frequencies sent to their crown chakra. Somebody could be using magic or witchcraft or anything negative, sending it your way, send it, blocking your crown chakra from feeling confident. And we're not going to just blame magic. This could be how hurt you've been or how in the dumps you've been to where you've literally blocked out your own self that makes sense you could be standing in the way of your own self at the moment viewer we can't after so long you have to stop blaming other people for why you're in the place you're in you got to stand up for yourself and take yourself out because these other people's shows ain't stopped whoever hurt you or whoever put you in this predicament you see they show ain't stopped i mean they getting their karma but they show ain't stopped and i just seen 18 18 on the clock okay Someone needs to get their crown chakra together. Pray over your mind. Put crystals on your head. Protect your head. Someone needs to cover up their head as well so they don't get a head cold. Somebody's going outside with wet hair in the morning for work and it's making you catch a cold. We also got the wisdom card in reverse. So somebody's acting like they're not smart. And this could be all due to your crown chakra being blocked being clogged up um, not working properly your mind is not healthy right now and all the wisdom you've gained over all the years and all the situations and all the months everything you know is not being put to use right now because something's going on with your crown chakra and only you could figure that out viewer okay god wants you to um turn this wisdom from being in reverse to the upright if it was an upright, it would represent you being smart, you having the key, you having the book, you knowing what to do. But it's in reverse. So some of y'all is not using your knowledge or you're not using what you were taught. Somebody got taught something by an older person that's not here today to help you. And this older person is communicating through me, letting me know that they're disappointed. That they've sat and taught you so much and you are acting as if you don't know what to do. Give me one more message, viewer. I mean, for the viewer spirit. 
they feel like they won something. Okay? So seeing you down and seeing you depressed or as long as you're staying in this situation, if someone's coming around you that is you've ended something with but they still have to come around or they still seeing you or if you got a family member or whoever this person is all the people around you can tell you going through something viewer they know that something's going on in your life you're not yourself you don't look the same you ain't acting the same you may not have it like you used to your whole everything is thrown off at the moment okay and whoever this person is that puts you in this position, they feel like they won, okay? And now that you notice, I hope this is motivation for you to get up and pick yourself up and be the boss that you are because someone is enjoying seeing you at rock bottom. They're enjoying seeing you confused, lost, blocked, um, contemplating, sluggish, not doing best for yourself. They liking it. They feel like they had complete contentment. They feel like they won power over you. They got you at they low at your lowest. So is it? Are you gonna let this person still um, win over you, even though they're not in your life? Just seeing twenty one twenty one. Okay. You gonna let them win, viewer? You gonna let them have it they way? That's the question you need to be asking. Get yourself up and get yourself together. Get yourself up and pick yourself up, okay? Remember who the hell you are. Love and light. Make sure you comment, like, share, and subscribe. If this video resonates, I'll be back with more.